Hello everyone, my name is Ali and welcome to my channel Finding Places and More. Hollywood movie series The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit were blockbusters. Millions of people watched it, liked it. When you watch these movies, we find a beautiful village, The Hobbiton, where Hobbit lives. It actually exists and it is one of the most beautiful and most visited place in New Zealand. So let's explore it. Thank you. In 1998, a team of location scouts working for the movie director Sir Peter Jackson took an aerial tour of New Zealand. They were searching for a tall tree near a pond that would be similar to the party tree described in the Lord of the Rings book. The search led them to the Alexander Farm, a stunning 1250 acres sheep farm in the heart of the Waikato. They realized that the hobbits had found a home. The initial set was constructed of polystyrene and plywood which was demolished after the completion of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. But when they began rebuilding Hobbiton for the Hobbit movies in 2010, they decided to make the homes more permanent. Using concrete, wood and bricks, it took 70 set builders to complete the beautiful Hobbit village, the Hobbiton. Now, it's one of the New Zealand's biggest tourist attractions. Located in Waikato region, 180 kilometers from Auckland and perfect for day trip for all ages. The village has 44 hobbit holes dug into the hillside, surrounded by hobbit gardens and orchards, and making it almost impossible to resist its charm. Even if it's wonderful to think that hobbit holes are actual houses with tea rooms, tube-shaped halls, polished chairs, cellars and dining rooms. But here, only those outer faces are real. Bag Inn is the only hobbit hole with a small interior to provide a sense of depth. All the items and the actual interior of the hobbit holes were designed and filmed in a studio in Wellington. The oak tree on the hill above Bag End is fake. The tree is made of fiberglass and its leaves are made from silk and were imported from Taiwan. Director thought the shade of the leaves wasn't quite right as they faded in the sun. So all of them had to be repainted by hand. It took 15 hours of work per day for 10 continuous days. All of this work for a prop that only aired for 10 seconds. Alexander Farm, where the Hobbiton is located, had approximately 13,000 sheep. None of them made it to the big screen. Director thought they looked too modern, so all of them were removed during filming. Instead, 39 Suflok sheep, a British breed sheep with black face and legs, were brought from the South Island to replace them. Similarly, director Sir Peter Jackson did not compromise in anything in order to make the set exactly look same as described in the book. It shows that how perfectionist he is. How can you say which hobbits are richer? Well, the lower down the hill a hobbit lives, the poorer he is. That's the reason Bag End sits on the very top of the hill. The detailed exterior decorations of each hole depict the occupation of the hobbit who lives inside. You will find beekeepers and loggers with the smell of fresh bread wafting as you walk past the baker's house. There are between 30 and 200 plants around each hobbit holes. Hobbiton employs 7 to 8 gardeners to maintain the grounds and keep everything perfectly groomed. The Burberry shops were bought in and gardens are being cared of throughout the year. The grass is intentionally left untended to grow enough between the pathways, giving the impression of an actual living village. The Green Dragon Inn is the newest addition to the set, fully constructed in 2012. It's a real and operational pub with a menu of drinks and light meals. More than 300,000 people from around the world visit Hobbiton every year. If you are Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit fans, then it will be really a unique experience for you. But if you are not, or even if you have not watched the movie, you will still appreciate the beauty of the set. The interesting fact is, 40% of Hobbiton visitors never have watched these movies or read the book. I hope you enjoy this video. 
If you like, you can subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get more upcoming video. Our world is amazing and I'll continue to explore and share with you. Thank you.